the mood today in Caracas is, is one of indignation. Uh, what, to, to most Venezuelans, what happened here on Monday was an extrajudicial killing, a massacre, an execution. Um, Oscar Perez, he repeatedly uh, came on social media to say that he wants to surrender, he wants to lay down his arms, and what we saw in response was just simplification of a government fire. Uh, they responded machine guns and later on brought in grenades um, and, uh, and rockets uh, to, to basically destroy the house where he was where he was hiding, uh, and e- even even government supporters uh, are saying that well, you know, he was a rebel, he was an insurgent, he deserved uh, to be tried, he deserved to be punished. But uh, there is a due process for it. Uh, you know, uh, Minnesota is not known as a country to to execute its people. He, the capital punishment here has been abolished 150 years ago. So, what happened to Oscar Perez on Monday uh, has, has shocked the majority of the country. Um, what have the reactions been uh, across the spectrum in the country? Well, as, as, as I said, a, a pretty strong, strong private reaction from the uh, European Union uh, so far. I think uh, we, we can expect something from the State Department in the U.S. in, in the coming days. Uh, the, the, you know, the, the, and it has united the opposition. Keep in mind, Alexander, that uh, uh, Oscar Perez was seen as a government stooge by most Venezuelans up until Monday. He was seen as someone planted there by the government to uh, distract from the country's economic collapse. And it took his death, basically, to convince him that he was for real, that his rebellion was genuine. Uh, and that has unified, I think, a lot of government opponents to, to basically carry on their resistance to the government and to stay united.